the BrahMos unit in Lucknow, will be the centerpiece of the Defence Corridor project in Uttar Pradesh. India will manufacture its next generation BrahMos, BrahMos NG, at this unit. And BrahMos Aerospace, a joint venture of DRDO and Russia's NPO Machinostrenia, has committed 3,000 crore rupees to the project. The mega unit's construction will begin in October. In phase 1, 1,500 crore rupees will be invested, and over 100 BrahMos missiles will be manufactured in India over the next three years. According to the additional Chief Secretary of Uttar Pradesh, UP has been assured that all clearances for the project will come from the DRDO, and they have allotted 80 hectares of land at a nominal cost. And the joint venture has taken possession of the land, and 50% of the boundary work is also completed. They have now expanded their plans beyond what they had originally planned. Last year on December 26, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh laid the foundations for the BrahMos missile base in Lucknow. Another important project in the Defence Corridor is the establishment of a cutting-edge common defence testing infrastructure under the Ministry of Defence's scheme. India has a large requirement for defence equipment, ranging from land systems, ships and submarines, to fighter aircraft, helicopters, weapons and sensors, with a requirement to acquire equipment worth more than US$26 billion by 2025. The aerospace and defence manufacturing sector has been identified as a key focus area under the Make in India initiative and the Ministry of Defence has established defence industrial corridors in Uttar Pradesh and Tamil Nadu in support of the initiative. And by establishing the UP Defence Industrial Corridor, the centre has paved the way for the state government to establish a world-class manufacturing hub for the Indian and global aerospace and defence industries. According to the UP government, the Defence Industrial Corridor will be established in six nodes across the state in as many districts and a total of 93 industrial and institutional MOUs have been signed with various private investors and organizations, with an estimated investment value of over 11,256 crore. The Aligarh node has signed the most MOUs with 35, followed by the Lucknow node 15, Kanpur node 12, and Jansi node 9. The Kanpur node anticipates significant investment. The Agronode, on the other hand, has made no progress due to Taj trapezium zone restrictions, which prohibit all industrial activities in a large portion of the Agra region. The UP government has acquired nearly 1,600 hectares of land parcels for the defence corridor, but no land has been identified or acquired in the Agronode. And, BDL is establishing an anchor unit in Jansi, with an investment of 400 crore rupees, in phase 1, on 183 hectares of land, for the manufacturing of propulsion systems. Encouraging foreign original equipment manufacturers. The central government is enacting, a number of policy measures, to encourage as many foreign original equipment manufacturers, to visit India, and form joint ventures with Indian manufacturers, in the defence industrial corridors. This would be consistent with the government's efforts to ensure that not only domestic startups, but also larger foreign OEMs, establish ventures with domestic partners in this industrial corridor. With the goal of promoting Uttar Pradesh as a preferred destination for defence manufacturing and attracting investments. Defence Expo 2020 was held in Lucknow in February 2020. Defence Expo 2020 was the biggest defence expo to date. Over 70 countries and 1,029 exhibitors, 857 Indian and 172 foreign displayed their latest technology in the Defence Air Aerospace domain. During this event, 22 memorandums of understanding were signed. With the same aim, UPDIC also participated in the Aero India 2021, and the event was a huge success for the corridor, with 17 MOUs being signed during the event.